Hello traders, uh, hello traders, Sally Tech of the video is uh, how to set a stop loss uh, precisely about a true. In the first part of this series of video, we were talking about how to set a stop loss uh, precisely using the moving average 100. Have you watched uh, part one? If yes, I thank you very much. In this second part of uh, this series of video, we will be using channels and trend lines uh, to set uh, a stop loss uh, precisely. All right, you may say to me, George, I already know how to use uh, channels and trend line uh, to set a stop loss uh, precisely. And I will encourage you to watch the full length of this tutorial so you may still uh, polish your stop loss uh, setting. All right, let's get uh, started. All right. If a financial instrument is going up, it will be in a rising channel or it will be above a rising a trend line, right? As I have demonstrated to traders in part one, when we were using the moving average 100, we were talking about deviation from the moving average 100 and return to the moving average 100. But as we are using now a channel or a trend line, all right. So suppose we are using this red trend line here. If the financial instrument is bullish, it will stay above a rising okay, a trend line. If the financial instrument is declining, it will be below a declining a trend line. All right. We can also say that if a financial instrument is going up, it will be in a rising channel. But if it's declining, it will be in a declining channel. So if the financial instrument is in a rising channel or above a rising trend line, we want to buy. But we will only try to buy after the price deviate from the trend line or the lower part of uh, the channel, the rising channel, and form a new higher high in comparison to the previous high. So the price in a rising channel or above a rising trend line is start going up from the lower part of the channel or from the rising trend line and it deviate from it. Now is returning back to it, to the trend line or to the lower part of the channel after forming a new high high. So as a bullish trader that is buying, you will be buying on the edge of the trend line or on the edge of the lower part of the rising channel, yes or no, okay? You will use a different time frame trading method to buy right here, yes or no? In that case, you will place your stop loss precisely few pips below the trend line or below the channel because the idea of buying on the edge of a rising trend line or on the edge of the lower part of a rising channel, it allows us to reduce the risk by buying on the edge of the rising channel, uh, on the edge of the lower part of the rising channel, or, or on the edge of a rising trend line, we are now able to place our stop loss few pips below the trend line. We are using the bullish trend line as our protection, or the lower part of the rising channel as our protection in this case. All we need to do is to place our stop loss few pips below the trend line. But if you are swing trading, we will not use a few pips. We will use uh, maybe 40 pips or 50 pips or 60 pips or even 80 pips, depending on our risk tolerance, also depending on the, okay, the volatility of the financial instrument that we are trading or depending on the average true range of the financial instrument that we are trading. So in order to set our stop loss precisely, we can use a bullish trend line in an uptrend or a bearish trend line in a declining uh, in a downtrend. We can also use the rising channel, the lower part of the rising channel, or the upper side of a declining channel. So what usually take place in a declining channel? All right, I'll give you one example here. The price is here. Was going down, was in a declining channel here. All right, so where do we sell? That is the question. So in order to set our stop loss precisely, we can use the channel or the bearish trend line. So if I color this one now, uh, the upper side of that declining channel into pink, 
Well, if we consider this that the price is below a declining channel, all we are looking for, we want the price to start going down from that declining trend line. Here it is, that going down, which is a deviation from the declining channel. Now, the price form a new lower low in comparison to the prior low. Very, very important. It's the opposite of what we are doing here. Now, if you return back to the declining channel, we, we have an invitation to sell. We implement a top-down trading method to sell it. And if there is a signal to sell here, we will sell and we will place our stop loss behind the, the bearish trend line or behind the upper side of the declining channel. This is how we will set our stop loss in a downtrend. All right. On the other hand, if the prior was uh, oscillating in a horizontal channel, all right, we will use the horizontal channel. So trader will be selling on top here. We place our stop loss few pips behind the upper side of the horizontal channel, and when we are buying at the lower part of the channel, after we have used uh, a different time frame trading method, we will place our stop loss few pips below. Okay, that uh, rise that uh, horizontal channel. All right, this strategy we can apply it on any time frame. But if we are using different time frames, which means we look for a training setup. Suppose, all right, we are now on the hourly time frame. Okay, so you see now the price did start going up from the, the lower part of the rising channel, deviation from a new high high, I pull back to retest the edge of the rising channel or the edge of the rising a trend line. Okay, so you are here, you are buying. Now you as the prior reaches this level, you don't want to buy straight away. You can draw a line there. Okay. You draw a line there. So because you want to implement a top-down trading method, we are here. I'm going to call I hopefully we'll see now the uh, I'm going to change my time frame in a minute. All right, so you say hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame, we are here, All right? So because you draw your horizontal line there, because you want to place your stop loss a little bit below that uh, the lower part of the rising channel or below that uh, rising trend line, okay? So you draw the horizontal line and then you switch it to your uh, 10 minute time frame, Well, we, we can't see it here, okay? But the shame, we can't see it here on the 10 minute time frame. Okay, this is what you will do. So, all right? So, you will go to your signal time frame, all right? And if there is a signal on the edge of a that you see, the line that I draw on the hourly time frame are still here, all right? Suppose we are here, all right? You suppose we were here, okay? And you want to, if you receive a signal on the edge of the data trend line, you will place your stop loss below, okay, that uh, uh, channel. Usually, generally speaking, when we are using a different time frame trading method, we will use the channel or the trend line on the signal time frame. So suppose you see a trading setup on the monthly chart, all right. You want to combine the monthly chart to the hourly time frame, which is the signal time frame. Uh, you want to combine. You want the monthly chart, monthly chart for the trading setup, daily chart for the trading uh, signal. On the daily chart, you want to draw your channel or your trend line, and you will use the channel or the trend line of the signal time frame. All right. Sometimes, if the price is still uh, near the channel on the set up time frame, you will okay place your stop loss few bit below that uh, the lower part of the rising channel or a little bit uh, below the rising uh, trail line. All right. So, in order to improve your stop loss setting, I'll go even to the uh, now the 50 minute time frame. Okay. So. We are down to 50. So suppose you are here, so you draw your channel like this, let's see channel like this, okay? You're on a 50 minute time frame, all right? 
and you want to sell, you want to make sure you are working with the rising, the declining channel, the rising channel, and the horizontal channel, or a rising trend line, or a declining trend line, okay? So you, if you sell here, the best place to place your stop loss precisely is, is uh, just a few pips above the upper side of that declining channel. That's how you set your stop loss precisely using a declining channel, rising channel, bullish trend line, and bearish trend line. So the idea is to have the signal, so the trade that you will, you will take at signal that are occurring on the edge of a channel or on the edge of a, a trend line. So if you want to sell, you want to sell in a declining channel or below a declining trend line, but you want the signal to be on the edge, right here, on the edge of the trail, a declining trend line or on the edge of a, a, a channel. And you want to make sure your stop loss is just a few pips above, okay, that declining channel or the upper side of the declining channel. We'll do exactly the same thing in the rising channel. We'll place our stop loss few pips below, all right, uh, the lower part of our rising channel, all right? But what we are looking for, how do we do that? Okay, carefully, all right? So in an uptrend, price start going up fast from the lower, from the, the, the rising trend line or the lower part of the rising channel, deviation, all right, forming a new higher high, in comparison to the previous high. Now, it form a higher low here on the edge of, uh, okay, the lower part of the rising channel, or on the edge of the rising trend line. So if the common trend line here is kaput, right, kaput, that's how you want to trade it, on the edge. You want to trade on the edge. If you want to trade your, if you want to set your stop loss precisely, you must trade on the edge on the edge of a trend line, on the edge of a channel, on the edge of the moving average 100, using deviation and return to the mean, paying attention to the higher high and a return to the mean, or a new lower low and return to the, to the mean in a downtrend, all right? So here, this is the, where you will, if you are buying or on the edge in a rising channel or on the edge of a rising trend line, all you need to do is to place your stop loss behind the data trend line. That's how you will set your stop loss precisely. All right. There are other ways that we can set our stop loss precisely. We will discuss more uh, example in part three and also part four and part five. All right. So in this second part of this video, we are using, all right, we are using okay, a channel or a rising trend line, a rising channel, okay, for bullish trade, all right, and a rising trend line. Price start going up first from the edge of the rising trend line or from the edge of the lower part of a rising channel, deviation from a new high high, pull back, retest it. Don't just buy. Use a different time for trading method on the edge of the channel. You will place your stop loss few pips below the channel. Especially if you are day trading, you do not need too much stop loss if you are trading on the edge of a rising trend line, declining chart trend line, or channels. All right? Right. But you want to trade like a pro using different time metal, deviation, price start going up first. So here you see, it start going up first from the edge of the rising channel, deviation. Now here it is, it come back to it. Now you want to compare, see, does it form a new high high? Yes, it did form a new high high in comparison to the previous high. Now we are here. You can draw a line there on the edge. If you, are, if you are implementing different time frame trading method, you do it like this before you switch your time frame so you know where you are. That's your warning line right there. I call it now into pink. Then you can change your time frame. So like a daily chart, hourly time frame for a signal. Your signal should be on the edge somewhere here and your stop loss should be few pips below it. If you are swing trading, obviously, you'll use, uh, okay, 
more than more than a few people use a reasonable stop loss if you are swing trading if you are day trading uh, myself uh, for generally speaking you use 30 pip sometimes you use more if you are day trading depending on the average true range of the financial instrument that you are trading or depending on the volatility of the financial instrument that you are trading if you use uh, all right uh, 10 pips for day trading for Apple stock, you, they're going to take you out very fast, all right, because of the volatility of Apple stock, all right? Okay? But do not just buy when the price is retained. You see, it starts going up from the edge of the rising channel, form a new higher high. When it returns, finally return to the edge, you want to use a different time frame trading method. If there is no signal, don't just buy. See here, there was no signal. The price crashed through it. Sometimes the price will go a little bit below the channel before going back inside. This candlestick is quite uh, high. So this is a better place to start buying again. So it went out. Now it's trying to go back in. And here, it's a tricky one for you today. Put a line there, you see priority to bullish signal above that line because it went out, it's trying to go back in. All right, right there. And uh, you will implement a top down trading method after this can start, start opening. You place your stop loss, few people below the, the rising channel. Same thing we'll do in the downtrend. Price start going down from the edge of the declining channel, form a new lower low in comparison to the previous low. Now it returns to the edge of the declining channel on the edge here. All right, you see? On the edge of a declining channel, on the edge of a rising channel, on the edge of a rising channel, on the edge of a declining channel, paying attention to the price action and using a different time trading method. One will control the risk carefully and one will minimize okay, the risk that one is trading, placing a few pip stop loss above okay, uh, uh, the declining channel or below the rising channel or above okay, a declining trend line or below a rising uh, trend line, all right? So this is how one can okay, improve okay, or set a stop loss precisely, all right? If you have any question or suggestion, uh, please put in the comment section. I always read the comment. In due course, I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific uh, question. I need to remind traders that we are recording this video today because uh, a trader did ask me to record uh, this series of video about uh, how to set stop loss precisely, especially when one is day trading or a swing trading. If this video has been useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you are using a different time frame trade method, use the channel and the trend line on the signal time frame. All right. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and uh, you will be notified as soon as we post a new video if you click on a notification icon. Please uh, subscribe to our channel today. All right. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, how to set stop loss precisely in part two. See you in part uh, three. Happy to meet you all and I will uh, speak to you uh, soon.